Welcome to the Swain Park School in Rayleigh, Essex. My name's Simon Smith and I'm the Learning Environment Leader here. We've been working on acoustics in school classrooms for a number of years, about five years as part of the Essex study. We've found that the work has had a fundamental effect on the quality of teaching and learning. We work with mainstream children and we work with children with hearing impairments. We are absolutely committed to the importance of acoustics in school classrooms. We want to share that work with you and so we'll show you one or two of the classrooms, the treatments we've done and you can make some decisions for yourself. In our study this has been our control classroom or as we call it just an ordinary classroom. The building was constructed in 1957. Apart from a lick, lick of paint and some new furniture it's pretty much the same as it was when it was constructed. Its reverberation time is just over a second. So now we need to see what it's like with some children in here. Glad to see you all on time. If you can get your planners and pencil cases out so we're ready to start. I'll we'll get on with the lesson today. So well, this is the classroom without any acoustic treatment. It's quite hard to work in here. Not many teachers enjoy the experience and you do find with the pupils you're repeating yourself quite a lot you're having to use quite a stern voice to attract their attention in the first place. But it's a room with no treatment. Hopefully we're going to see that we've improved things from this point onwards. This is the first of our treated classrooms. Essentially the treatment is a suspended ceiling with a plasterboard ceiling tile. The reverberation time in here is about 0.8 of a second in the middle range of frequencies. This meets the minimum standard for a British classroom. Okay, can we get our planners and our pencil cases out, please? Planners and pencil cases. That's everybody. This is a classroom that meets the minimum standards, but it's not really a nice place to teach. The children can very easily get distracted by one or, one or two that aren't concentrating. I can get distracted by other noises, noises from outside in the corridor. They all interfere. If you have the windows open on a hot sunny day, you find that the children are turning around to see what's going on. I have to use a much more severe tone of voice to get everyone's attention in here. The sound builds up. It's not comfortable. And before you know it, you've got quite a din going on in here. No one can really understand and hear what's going on. I have to repeat myself. The children are putting their hands up, not because they don't understand, because they simply didn't hear. This is our classroom that's been treated to the very highest standards. Again, a 1950s shell, a suspended ceiling, which consists of a 40 millimeter high absorbency tile, and an extra base pad of 100 millimeters that covers the whole ceiling. The performance of this room is about 0.4 of a second across a broad range of frequencies. This complies with the British Association of Teachers of the Deaf recommendations. Can we get our planners and our pencil cases out, please? Straight away. So, if you can turn around and face the front, please. If I'm explaining a task in this classroom, you get it right first time. The children don't put their hand up to ask you to explain something again. They've heard with clarity. They've been able to concentrate on what you've been saying because of the distracting noises that might be coming from outside or from ch other children going into their bags after pencil cases don't have the same level of influence. And if you do have a pupil that's a bit too chatty, you can very easily pick out the direction of that chatty sound and you can deal with it on an individual basis rather than having to perhaps antagonise the whole class by asking them who's talking and then looking to deal with it. This classroom has a new optimised solution that we've been trying out. It's the suspended ceiling which has tiles of a 20mm high absorbency material, a 50mm bagged product which is in a U shape around the ceiling. Right, if you can get your planners and your pencil cases out please. We've got a lot. You're a bit late today. Shut the door behind you please. That was the maximised classroom. This is what we have in this optimised classroom. The surface on this product 
is very tough and when children are being children that is important. When the children first came in here after the conversion they looked around and said what's changed it's it's quieter and that was the overriding comment that they they had. They found that they could hear the teacher a little bit more clearly. The teacher said they can hear the children more effectively. The teacher has said he's a bit more relaxed about using this classroom. It's much easier to try out different techniques. We have some new teachers at this school and when they're learning their craft they have to be given the best environment to learn what they're doing. They have to be able to experiment with group work. When you have a number of children doing group work you have quite a noise. The comment that comes back from this room is when children are doing group work it's not just a noise, it's a series of conversations that you can hear, that you can tune into, and so you can be that much more effective as a teacher. We also have our duty of inclusion. It's very important that children with hearing problems can take part in lessons. The children who have hearing problems don't have to sit at the front and be identified. They can sit at a variety of places around the classroom and they can join in because they can hear with clarity. So draw your own conclusions from what you've seen on this video. For us, Good Acoustics works, it makes a significant difference to the children. Okay, we're ready to start. We're going to be doing, looking at some formulas today, really exciting for you. It's revision, it's a topic that you've done before, a bit of revision, so you shouldn't find it too difficult to pick this up very quickly.